right so they don't yeah. have anything common so they are opposite but if they have something common like if the angle is common between these two lines right so that means they are adjacent so remember one no. thing there are two words one is opposite and one is adjacent okay so opposite means if nothing is common so they are opposite if something is common then they are adjacent okay. yeah yeah and then two angles of a quadrilateral having the common arms are called adjacent angle okay this is what then coming to diagonals what are diagonals basically like one point touching the other point is known as diagonal right and yes, basically sir. the opposite one it's not going to be the same one opposite one and mm. coming to the sum what is the sum addition of angles yes what is the sum like when you will add all the angle then mm. what you will get for quadrilateral tell me tell me yes sir and so when you will add all the angles for example this is a quadrilateral right yes. if you will add this angle this angle this angle and this angle what will be the sum 360 yes so and this property is known as angle sum property of quadrilateral yes okay now coming to the alag, uh, different different types of quadrilateral first is your parallelogram so over here you have opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal plus diagonal bisect one another then okay. coming to rhombus rhombus is basically a parallelogram with sides of equal length like it is a parallelogram but all the sides are equal right and one more thing over here diagonals don't bisect diagonals are perpendicular to each other right yes and then coming to rectangle what is a rectangle basically all the like the properties a uh, rectangle a parallelogram have all the properties rectangle have but remember one thing all the angles of rectangles are right angle right and yes, their sir. diagonals are basically equal okay then coming to square square is basically similar to parallelogram but the only thing is that over here it uh, it is a rectangle with over here in a rectangle what was happening the opposite sides were equal right length and length they are equal breadth and breadth they are equal but in square all the four sides are equal right yes sir and then coming to kite over here the diagonals are perpendicular to one another plus one of the diagonal bisect the other right so if abcd is a kite then angle b equals to angle d but remember one thing angle a is not equal to angle c clear as i already told you this angle is not going to be equal to this angle but these two angles are going to be equal to each other so only one pair is equal not the other one okay, okay? and coming to trapezium one pair of parallel sides is there o over here this is a trapezium basically so over here these two are not these two sides are not equal and parallel right but these two sides are equal and parallel yes Clear? yes okay now coming to next thing over here it is uh, like there are few points basically if the non parallel side of trapezium are equal it is known as isosceles trapezium so for example over here this is the trapezium so over here these two sides are parallel right but if these two sides though these two sides are non parallel right non parallel means they are not parallel but if they are equal for example this is for 4 cm and this is also for 4 cm right so this means that the trapezium is isosceles tra trapezium okay okay why isosceles there's a property of isosceles basically that in a isosceles maybe it is a triangle maybe it is a it is a triangle or the trapezium remember one thing in isosceles triangle you what what is the property two sides are always equal okay. right two sides so over here also two sides are equal right yes, yes so that's why it is not a simple trapezium it is isosceles trapezium right yes. similarly for uh, triangle like for example if one side is for 90 degree it is known as right angle triangle right similarly yes. yeah so that's why it's a different name according to the criteria so similarly if trapezium is normal normal trapezium is there you will see it is a trapezium right but if the non parallel sides are equal then you will say it is a isosceles trapezium clear okay. yes okay. then remember one thing square rectangle and rhombus are all parallelogram right if i'll ask you 
basically why i am teaching you all this because they usually ask you these questions in statement right yes, yes. and no true and false so that's very important plus sometimes they give you to prove that okay this is a parallelogram prove that it's a square right so you should remember the basics should be clear to you so that only that you can you know convert the things and only then you can solve the question so that's why basic is very much important to solve this chapter so that's why we are first of all covering the basics okay yes and then square rectangle and rhombus are all parallelogram so if i'll ask you that the square rectangle and rhombus are parallelogram so you will say yes ma'am they are parallelogram then kite and trapezium are not parallelogram you already uh, like we read about so many uh, quadrilaterals right so out of all this three are parallelogram and others are not parallelogram right and remember one thing a square is a rectangle right a square is also a rhombus a parallelogram is a trapezium these are the statement which you have to learn right nobody will yeah. you know nobody there is nothing logical behind that see uh, why i am saying a square is a rectangle so for example this is a rectangle right square is also known as rectangle right why because in square all the sides are equal but it is somewhere the rectangle right it has four sides right so this yeah. can be a rectangle a square is a rhombus as well a parallelogram is a trapezium see a parallelogram is a trapezium and a trapezium is not parallelogram they are two different thing right it's like that uh, you look for example uh, you look like your sister but your sister don't look like you there can be the similarity and the differences right mm -hmm. so that's why yeah. it is like some parts will be look like in, like they will be somewhere similar to the other part right other quadrilateral but not the other quadrilateral are going to be same like you it's not like that okay if i am like you you are also like me no right so sometimes yes, we compare yes. na that uh, you look like your father you look like your mother right but have you ever seen uh, that someone is telling your father that you look like your son no right no no yeah this is what we we are being compared with our parents right not our parents are being compared with us so that's why square rectangle and rhombus are parallelogram okay kite and trapezium are not parallelogram see square is a rectangle square is a rhombus parallelogram is a trapezium but in one case only parallelogram is a parent right but in only one case in trapezium case only you will say that a parallelogram is a trapezium only in one case okay yes okay so now first of all what you will do you will write all this point okay and after that we will start okay okay okay
Well, I'm finished taking notes. Yes, ma'am. Now let's just now let's just start with the next thing, which is properties of parallelogram. Okay. So, yes, what are the properties of parallelogram? Basically, so these are the property. First, the opposite sides of parallelogram are parallel, right? Diagonals of parallelogram divide it into two congruent triangles. Now, over here, you have to focus on the words. Okay, what is written basically, right? So, they are saying it is a congruent triangle. So, Ishak, will you tell me what do you understand by the congruent triangle? All the sides are equal. All the sides congruent means that in every aspect, they are equal. It's not like only about sides. It's about, for example, this is triangle A, B, C. And this is P, Q, R. Right? So, they yes. both are ditto, you can say, photocopy to each other. Right? All the angles, for example, AB is equals to PQ. AC is equals to PR. BC is equals to QR. Like this. Plus, angle A is equals to angle B. Angle B is equals to angle C. Angle C is equals to angle R. Like this. Okay, yes, so sir. that means all the sides, all the angles are equal. Like sometimes you can say that twins, right? So congruent yes. means that these two triangles are basically the twins of each other, right? Yes. Okay, then, uh, so for example, this is your parallelogram. So like these are the diagonals. So two triangles are here, triangle A and triangle B. Can you see? Yes. This yes, is sir. first triangle and this is second triangle, right? Yes. So over there, what is happening? Like they both are congruent to each other, right? If it is diagonal, clear? Okay. This and the opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. You already know. Opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. Already know. The consecutive angles, co-joint angles of the parallelogram are supplementary. This point is very, very important. Consecutive, I in the previous class itself, I told you consecutive, if you remember. Consecutive means... Well, uh, one uh, after one, well, like uh, yes, 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 one yes, 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 like uh, one after one, right? Yes, yes. For example, this is the uh, angle, like the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So, for example, over here, these are the angle. This is a parallelogram. This angle and this angle, they are one after another. Yes. Right. Yes. So, what will be the sum? It will be supplement. Clear. Oh yes. And then. Coming to this, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Already told you, for example, if this these are the diagonals, so they are going to bisect each other. Clear? Okay. Hmm. Yes. So this is what. I'm now coming to next thing. What is uh next question? This these are the basically uh, properties of parallelogram. So for example, I just gave you the quadrilateral, right? And I told you, Isha, now prove that this is a parallelogram. Right? How will you prove that is a parallelogram? Until and unless you are not aware how what the parallelogram look like and what are the properties of parallelogram, right? So these are the properties. So what you can do, either you can prove that these two, like for example, I gave you this quadrilateral and I asked you to prove that this is a parallelogram, right? So what you can do out of any of these properties, you can prove two or three properties and you can say, yes, ma'am, because you know, this quadrilateral is satisfying uh, like uh, properties like this. So yeah, we can say that this is a parallelogram, Okay. right? This is what. So that's why learning property is important because in this question, you have lot many theorems. You have lot many things to prove. Prove this, prove that, show that, like this. Okay? Yes, so these are the properties. And then a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if. Right? These are the properties. So for example, I gave you a quadrilateral and I told you that proof that this is a parallelogram. So any quadrilateral will be a parallelogram if First, each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal. So, for example, this and this and this and this, they are equal, right? Or yeah. the angle, pair of angle, opposite angles are equal. Then, or if the diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other, right? If the diagonals are bisecting each other, so for example, if this is a quadrilateral and these are the diagonals, right? This is A, mm. this is B, 
this is C and this is D, right? And this is O, right? So okay. over here, if OC is equals to OB, right? So if this is the situation, OC and OB, they are the equal, they are equal. So you can say, ma'am, they are bisecting each other because bisecting means that two equals part. For example, this is the line and this is the line which is bisecting. So this means this line is equals to this line, right? Okay. This A, O, and B. So this A, O should be equals to your O, B, right? So yes. if these are the two diagonals, so this O, C is equals to O, B like this. Okay. Okay. And next is if a pair of opposite sides equals and parallel. So pair of opposite sides is basically they are opposite. Okay. Plus they should be equal. Like, for example, this is a quadrilateral. They are parallel, you can see. But they should be equal. Like, this should be 4 centimeters. So, this should also be the 4 centimeters. Clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Ishaq, you will write these two things. Okay. Ma'am, uh, one thing and uh, th third point, if diagonals uh, of quadrilaterals bisect each, 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 each other, how yeah. can we know that? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, uh, after one point to that point, it is equal. Uh, see, for example, over here, these are the these are the diagonals, right? Yes. This is A, this is O, and this is B, yes. right? So what you have to do, like this is what, like we will be proving them, okay? So there yes. will be certain uh, criteria, right? That will be proving them. For example, we will make these two triangles uh, congruent. So once these two triangles are congruent, you can easily say that ma'am, AO and BO are equal because they are part of these two triangles, right? Okay. So we yeah. have certain rules for that. Don't worry about this. So first of all, you should know if this question comes that, okay, this is a quadrilateral proof that it's a parallelogram, right? So you should be ready what you need to do, right? So these okay. are the steps. Like I will teach you how you are going to prove that AO is equals to OB, right? Okay. I am going to teach yes. you there are steps. Don't worry about that. Okay? Yes. Okay. So you can quickly write it down. And Ishaq, like as your class timings was, uh, I guess, 3 p.m. IST. Right, but you joined late. So I have yeah. some other classes as well. So you, from next time, like join at time only so that we can continue. Okay. Right. So uh, yes, today sir. you were facing some issues. No, ma'am. The link didn't came. I don't know. Uh, but uh, they told me that they shared it with you at three, I think. I mean, and you got uh, the link. My, actually, my father sends a link. So he sent, he sent. Because your father me. joined early. Your father joined early and I was yes. trying to co connect with him, but he didn't connect the audio. So I was unable to coordinate with sir as well. Okay, no. He, I think he sent, but it didn't came. I don't know what happened. So I, my father told, so I told my father the link didn't came. So. Yeah, because he joined at 3.15, I guess. He joined at 3.15, but again, I was unable to coordinate with him because he didn't connect the audio. So I was unable to ask whether Ishaq okay. will be joining or not. So yeah, okay. So you can write these two things and you will revise. From next class onwards, we are going to start with the exercise with your book and all okay. that. Okay. Okay. You can write it down. You have five minutes. Okay. Okay. Hello, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. I, I thought today will be a science class. Uh, uh, I was understand like that. So you, you will you will teach only mathematics, or you gonna take a, a science next class? Uh, sir, I do teach uh, science, but I don't know whether or like who is allotted to Ishak basically. Like I'm not okay. aware who is allotted to Ishak. So uh, what I will do? Like uh, they just told me to take the class for science. They didn't they didn't told me to take the class for science as as I thought mm -hmm. that it is going to be the maths class. So what I will do? I'll just coordinate with the counselor. Right. Yeah. I will ask them like who is going to teach him in case if I am being allotted to him. So I will only teach him. But in case if any other faculty is being allotted to him. So I will try to arrange your class by tomorrow for the, like with that faculty. What okay. I understand through the conversation that you, you're going to take max as well as science as well. Okay. 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 Uh, so I was not aware of it. I'll just coordinate with the counselor. Right. And okay. I'll just let you know in case if I am going to take uh you know take science as well so what i will do one day i'll teach maths and one day i'll teach science like this i'll continue okay, okay? so in case if i am going to teach uh, ishak science so tomorrow i'll take his science class that will be great yeah okay. yeah okay, okay. Sir. tomorrow is sunday you gonna take class or sunday also yeah sunday is uh like working for us it's friday and off uh, sunday is in working okay that's great that's great okay. thank you so much 
Thank you, sir.
Uh, is that done? I'm done. Okay, Shaq. Uh, so Shaq will meet. Okay, this one.